Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rodast Al, I'm a manager at Orbit Innovation Hub. Welcome to the second episode of our online startup school. Today we're going to discuss about value chain and value chain for digital startups. We're going to talk about what value chains are and how we can apply the value chain for digital startups. Uh, today we're going to discuss about more about you know what is the Portis value chain, what is, what is the definition, what are the applications and elements of the value chain and then what does it mean uh, what value chain mean for digital startups and how can we apply the value chain for digital startups so we'll start with the definition of a digital startups um, a value chain what is the value chain so the porter's value chain was introduced in 1985 by porter who uh, described its own competitive advantage creating a sustaining superior performance so a value chain describes the set of activities an organization must conduct to deliver value to its customers the concept was developed for tangible goods and for production services. So in these particular areas, it has two sets of activities. They're called the primary activities and the secondary activities. The primary activities are the ones that are directly linked with the customer. So it includes activities like inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing and sales and services. Whereas the secondary activities are the ones that are not directly related to customers themselves or they don't face the customer or the client. In which case, these are firm infrastructure, human resource management, technology development and procurement. And when we look at all these activities, eventually they all add up to the margin, which is the value created and captured minus the value of creating the cost of creating this value would give us the margin. And so working on these particular activities and trying to improve them essentially makes a, a business more efficient and produce more value. So in that aspect, what are the applications of the value chain? Well, understanding the value chain uh, shows understanding how the organization creating, uh, creates value and looking for ways to add more value and critical elements in developing a competitive strategy. So practical applications are providing a step-by-step -step process for a business model and transforming the product and service from idea to reality, enhancing the business efficiency so that you can minimize cost and uh, maximize profit. Uh, the value chain also theory analyzes the firm's primary activities and for support activities to develop uh, quality improvement activities, help drive lean approaches to maintenance and tool for changing and modifying management or work process. Uh, so the supporting activities are, let's start with the supporting activities. Um, the supporting activities are procurement, technology development, human resources, and firm management. So in procurement, a company has to uh, understand how purchasing of raw materials and consumable supplies are used in terms of creating value. So when we're looking at a production company, for example, if we're looking at a car production company, uh, purchasing new raw materials like tires or any specific uh, engine parts or even specific uh, car parts is the procurement parts, whereas technology development uh, applies to procedures and technologies and inputs needed to add value in the value chain activities or when we're looking at a production company using technological advanced, technologically advanced materials and equipments and uh, methodologies to make sure that there is enhanced or efficient production of goods. Human resources is one area, selection, employee retention, um, placement and management are all aspects of human resources that add to the value of what a, a company can potentially do. Firm management uh, relates to the general management, the planning, the finance, the legal and government affairs, the quality improvement project that a company takes in order to be more profitable and more efficient. When we look at the primary activities, the inbound logistics is uh, inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing and sales and services are the primary activities that a company takes in order to create value. Uh, so inbound logistics was, uh, looks into receiving, storing, warehousing, and inventory control and transport of any production. Whereas operation looks into the activities that transform the raw material into final, final and finished good products that are that include packaging, maintenance, and facility operations. And outbound logistics usually is concerned about distribution of finalized products, which is material handling, storing, delivery, order processing, and scheduling. Marketing and sales usually pertains to advertising and to promoting goods that the company makes. So advertising, sales, marketing channels, and 
uh, pricing are all uh, intertwined to marketing and sales, whereas services are additional services the company may provide in order to improve its competitive advantage or as part of the business process. So installation, repair, training, parts and supply and product adjustments are activities that a company can take in this primary activity. So when we look at digital companies, digital companies don't necessarily follow the traditional routes that uh, production companies do. So when you look at a software producing company or a streaming platform, uh, they don't necessarily produce tangible goods. In fact, they produce softwares and they produce content. And so they produce these contents and distribute them to their clients. So when we look at the value chain, it's not necessarily inbound logistics, outbound logistics and operations. So their operations is different, their inbound logistics is different and every other aspect of their primary activity is different. So they need to find a strategic method with which to minimize uh, costs and maximize profits in a tangible and structured manner. So the values created are not tangible and they incorporate technology into core production. So when you're looking at uh, right sharing applications, streaming platforms, or good service delivery platforms, they don't necessarily follow the same route. So what do we do when it comes to digital companies? What are the value chains and how can we use the process value chain or adapt it in such a way that we can use it for digital startups? So as you as you can compare from the first slide uh, that we showed that firms infrastructure, human resource management, technology development and procurement are more or less the same in that the secondary activities don't necessarily change when as whereas the primary activities like inbound logistics and operations outbound logistics uh, are slightly different. So one of the uh, value chain proposals that I saw from uh, Thomas Lee in his 2015 uh, uh, LinkedIn pages that inbound logistics usually is associated with intellectual property and whereas operation when it comes to software development, for example, includes research, product management and development. Uh, outbound logistics usually focuses on no release because these are digital software, so uh, releasing them on different platforms can be one outbound logistics, whereas marketing sales and services more or less remain the same when, depending on the specific company or digital company that we're considering. So when it comes to digital uh, inbound logistics, digital companies don't have raw materials like traditional companies that require such materials as input production. So inbound logistic activities for digital companies depend for, depending on what kind of business that, that specific company does. So acquiring licenses, patients, uh, patents, and as well as determining the product to, that will be built and collectively uh, building a strategic portfolio can be considered as one inbound logistics. When we're looking at others, uh, specific uh, uh, startup companies or digital companies like streaming platforms, content creators become the inbound logistics. They create the actual value. So their relationship with the content creators is a very important aspect. Uh, delivery platforms also have suppliers. So they're the delivery companies or log logistic companies that work with this digital company or the digital company may need to also uh, outsource or hire its own uh, delivery individuals. So in that particular area, that delivery system becomes the inbound logistic. Uh, when we look at the operation, so in terms of digital companies, research, product management, and development are the key activities that they need to take. So research involves creating technological breakthrough like creating a faster service feature. So if you have a specific company that streams specific content, then you know finding ways to make it easier and faster could be one area of research that they can take. Product management means customers and partners to understand product pricing schemes, system integration patterns, real-world application, and getting you know customer feedback. Whereas development sees agile software engineering practices to manage the development of resources, project scheduling, and keeping up with dynamic market requirements. When we look at the outbound logistics, uh, Porsche's parallel to outbound logistics is released. So when you're thinking about releasing a specific application, you may consider releasing it on Android uh, platform or iOS platforms. You may want to have a, a web-based application. So having different varieties with which uh, to release these specific uh, products is one way to look at outbound logistics. And another way to look at it, though it's more or less related to customer and ser uh, customer service, it's more related to service, but part of uh, a startup could potentially have uh, is customer service, consumer service, and having customer service can be one outbound logistics. Marketing and sales usually follows the same strategy or the same approach as uh, any traditional company in that you need to have sales promotions, free subscriptions and various attractive packages in order to try to gain a lot of customers and at the same time also make sure that your brand is known uh, around with your customer segment. 
When it comes to the services, depending on the specific type of digital startup, the services they provide may differ. Some companies may provide training as part of their delivery system. So when you have a software building company, usually these software building companies you have to train uh, their clients on how to use the software before officially finishing uh, their dealings. And providing access to services on a 24 basis can also be one way, whereas one companies, certain companies like um, uh, delivery companies may not necessarily work 24-7, whereas streaming platforms usually do uh, provide services on a 24-7 basis. So customer support uh, services like phone lines, assisted installation, troubleshooting, and adding additional bots to just make the user interaction uh, very smooth is one area where companies can think about in order to streamline their services and also become uh, more attractive to customers. So using the value chain, the effective ways to use this value chain and understanding the value chain is to make sure that the company has an effective work process and at the same time can deliver value. So understanding the concept of the value chain of your company, creating key activities and sub activities within these areas, and then following up and linking them, linking each set of activities with each other can potentially help a, a, a company, a digital company, make sure that it's effective and it grows sustain, sustainably as well. Thank you very much for listening to me and we'll continue more episodes in the coming few months. Thank you.